Well, this is pretty frustrating. Um, I happen to be down here. I'm I'm getting pretty close, and uh, I was I wanted to check which brand of stepper motors uh, this fit on the uh, the Mercury ones or the uh, Kaisen ones because they're one is um, uh, metric diameter, one is imperial, and it turns out it fits uh, this particular gear that I'd I'd bit uh, I bought so that it was going to be crushing the the plastic between the pinch wheel and this. Um, fit on this one. Great. So, and I already even had it filed down, so I was going to save myself three hours because now I could just tighten that on there. Um, it's on wrong, but whatever. So, then I actually tried, you know, putting it up against here and realized that there's no way that this mount is going to hold this because, uh, that would go right up against it. Like, you know, even with the little space in there so you can adjust how to rough to right it is there's no space at all for any plastic to come through um so even if it was there if you look you can see it's all you see is that gear um and that's not just the thick part that's the thin part too so it looks like the only thing i could possibly do in here um would be to take one of these stepper motors that i hadn't filed down if i have any and do the thing that they were talking about where you basically cut into the, um, you know, just keep dremeling sideways and sideways and sideways uh, and make that shaft. Because if that shaft was there alone, there would be just enough space for the filament to, to come in if I pushed it up against it, um, which is probably what this was designed to do. I, I You know, the, the idea is I got this from one of the sets of instructions too, so hopefully that's just outdated if not I'll, I'll post a correction to that <sighs> Damn it. I was hoping to have avoided that step and I didn't calculate it and uh, schedule it and now it's gonna screw up my weekend damn oh well still damn close <laughs>